Hello viewers, welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to present .NET 8 ASP.NET MVC full stack development. So after uh, completing this video, you can able to uh, get this screen. So in this uh, screen, uh, let me just uh, maximize. You can delete and uh, your delete operation done and you can add new, let's say test and i'm going to add just uh, tbd to be declared safe so 25 and also you can check the details so after completing this video you can able to perform full code operation create update delete and also view uh, like from back end to front end like full stack development uh, create the database and connection database and uh, database migration create new project finally front end uh, some JavaScript uh, function with, J with the help of jQuery library, you can able to perform the full crude operation using .NET 8. As uh, .NET 8 is more stable and uh, maxim many people are using the .NET 8, I already installed in my local PC uh, .NET. Uh, let me show you how we can check uh, the uh, .NET install version using the PowerShell. Just go to the Windows button and press uh, PowerShell. So, and the command is .NET. Uh, version so as we can see we have installed the latest version if you want to check the entire dotnet version as i i have the several project in my pc so let me show you how you can check the other version as well dotnet info if you type dotnet info then you can able to check the all installed version like uh, eight point something and also five point something another version most of the version details here so i'm just closing it so after completing this video we can able to get this screen so let's start by creating new project so that we can uh, get jump into the final uh, output so using the visual studio i have already installed visual studio 2020 community version it's completely free you can use it also you can use vs code uh, most of the cases I use VS Code, which is light and pretty faster. But for tutorial purpose, I'm using the Visual Studio so that you can get the clear overview. Create new project. I'm going to create going to create new project using .NET 8.0 SP.NET MVC project. So here is the web platform, and uh, just it is reminder uh, MVC. So MVC project and next. And let me just name this project code operation.net 8. Code operation.net and location is source stream. So I will notice I will uh, upload entire project into GitHub so that you can just pull and get, build the project. If you have .NET SDK, SQL Server, and Visual Studio, you can easily run the project. And uh, no, no worries if you face connection issue. We have uh, in our previous video, I, I explained detail how you can overcome that. Uh, database connection issue and you and you can easily connect your database so if you have a db database connection issue then you can uh, get the help from this video also we have another video how we can perform the database migration and update database so in this video i will try to minimize the already explained things so our mission and vision is uh create a project using dotnet 8 complete full stack development back into front end back into uh, back in to front end operation next so dotnet ace is long lts long term support and you can choose if you if you have the other version so uh, our target is dotnet 8 so configure https you can docker i have a docker i'm not going to use it now so just https is fine and dotnet 8 create so a solution with a specific already exists in this disk oh so i have another i previously i have created test purpose so just so i have updated the path change the uh, folder detection so that it cannot be conflict with the existing project so visual studio is creating the default template project so of uh, once uh, Visual Studio done the creation uh, with default MVC. So then if we uh, build and execute the program, then we can able to 
able to get the, some static pace, uh, nothing functional database connection and and just a simple static pace. Mm, so here is the .NET uh, 8 MBC project. If you if I give you the simple overview, we have a controller, default controller, model for database uh, folder, and we, we can add the view model here as well. And the view for UI, we'll create uh, our view here. And we have just simple program.cs file. Here is the start of the application. Um, let me just clear and simplify it. So we have an instant build builder. Using this builder, we can create our all required services uh, dependency injection here. So an app.builder is task is uh, uh, perform the initially run the application. I'm just clearing the extra things from here so now things uh, neat and clear uh, we'll add database connection and uh, my sql uh, sql server connection here and if we require uh, add, add some dependency injection if we create some service i think in this project i'm not going to create a service so only database connection uh, instance I will make sure here. Let me just uh, install the uh, entity framework core first and uh, for just for clarification and uh, let me show you the project uh, output. What is the default project output right now we have. So using .NET SDK, if we create the project, then we just uh, default uh, template controller view and program.cs. And we have, uh, I just missed the app setting.json file. In this uh, file, uh, we will make sure the connection is string. And using this connection is string, a project will connect our database. So let me just run the project. So this is the default uh, uh, .NET MBC project output and just, just three static, two static pieces basically. So I'm just closing it. So our mission is uh, one by one. Just make sure first database connection, install the entity framework core and database migration. Once we have done the database migration, then we'll create controller and view. And after that, we'll make sure the JavaScript for front-end operation, like uh, passing the input to the controller so that controller perform the save, delete, and update operation accordingly. So first, I'm going to create the database connection. So before creating a database connection, you have to make sure I am considering you have uh, installed the SQL server in your local PC. Let me just open my SQL server. And let me show you how we can get your server name from the SQL Server Management Studio. So SQL Server SSMS is a client for connecting SQL Server for uh, writing queries and viewing the tables. I hope you already have this uh, SQL Server client. And here is my SQL Server. And if I connect using SQL Server user authentication username and password, just for giving giving you simple overview and if you not enable uh, like uh, sql server authentication just you have to go to the properties uh, from the server name and to go to the security you have to enable this option by default uh, uh, it might be only windows authentic authentication mode in your local server so uh, let me show you how you can get your server name from uh, using the SQL query select it's pretty simple select at the right server name so this is my local server name I'm going to use it so uh, let me just to make sure my connection is string now so once we make once we have a connection is string then I'm going to install the require look at packages uh, for entity framework core so i will uh, i'm just copying my two connection string one's for windows authentication another one is for sql server authentication 
so here is the true connection string so first one is sql uh, windows authentication so we don't pass the username user id and password and second one is a, a sql server authentication so if you use sql server authentication then you have to provide your sql server username and password and for .NET 8, you have to provide trusted certificate too, unless you will get uh, SQL exception. So we have a ready SQL Server uh, SQL Server connection string. As we are going to install, uh, as as we are going to use Entity Framework Core and a Code First project. So we have to install some packages. Uh, let me just uh, give you the packages overview. So we have to install. Mm, let me share from a title so here is the package list so entity framework core 8.0.1 entry framework core sql server and tool so using the terminal you can easily install you have two option using the nogat packages uh, packages you can install uh, the no good packages so let me uh, show you how you can install so i already searched entity framework for no get and uh, here is the uh, .NET cli command and for package manager you have to copy this command so as i'm using .NET cli i just copy this and i already have a copy of all version so for .NET cli you have to go to uh, from the project um, just uh, right click and uh, go to the open in terminal cls um, dot net build i'm just for the testing purpose i'm building the project so uh, without any error i'm just going to install dot net package entity framework core so uh, once installation done then uh, automatically in your uh, program dot pros dot cs extension for this is the um, um, pros dot cs extension file here already uh, item group package uh, entity framework core added so next target is our install uh, another uh, nogit package which is entity framework core sql server second one installation done and i'm just going to copy the last one so we have uh, installed required all packages but for uh, i will install another package which is for uh, once we done the project automatically sync the uh, sync the uh, changes into the browser which is uh, uh, Rezo runtime compiler. I'm just copying from my local PC just for avoiding the time, extra time. So runtime compiler you can install using the terminal. Just to you have to go to the go to the browser and uh, find out this runtime compiler dot net eight point zero the command. Same command, no issue. Okay, I'm just uh, from the terminal dot uh, net bit. Sorry. So project is restoring as I manually added uh, one package. You can add manually package here if you uh, have and using the uh, package manager console also the terminal you can add the packages. So we have uh, ready packages and uh, maybe I have add another for advanced uh, SQL uh, link query mm, as we, we, we will going to complete the full code operation uh, search basic nation and uh, for searching functionality i need to add a dynamic link you dot dynamic dot core 3.1.3.0 is stable version and i just built so this uh, dynamic uh, link is uh, help us to searching the data table jquery data table for uh, front end uh, grid view like basic nation searching sorting and filtering we are going to use jquery data repeal uh, for controller we are sending to data to the uh, jquery data repeal and for searching functionality from the control in controller we need uh, help of the uh, dynamic link query 
that's why I added this uh, Nougat package. So our package uh, uh, installation process done, and uh, we have a ready SQL server. Uh, I'm going to use uh, Windows. Uh, I'm going to use SQL server authentication is a string. So it's, uh, it's up, you can use anyone. So in the program.cs file using uh, builder instance, I'm going to just uh, pull the connection string name. So how uh, we can get the connection string name, uh, just uh, builder.configuration get connection string. So a string. On strn connection string also we have instant builder dot configuration get connection string already suggesting <clears throat> so in the parameter you have to provide the connection string name in from the sorry The application.json file. So our connection string, we just uh, reading the connection string name, uh, showing the null label. I'm just going to remove the uh, null label, enable the null label feature. So that I'm going, I'm, I'm not going to get unnecessary green suggestion. So you can enable if required the nullable functionalities. So and using builder service, we have we are going to add application DB context. So before uh, adding application DB context, we have to make sure uh, application DB context. And I'm going to create a new folder for database communication of which is uh, a data data folder. So I'm going to create application DB context and extending a DB context uh, from entity framework core. Add new class application DB context dot CS. So public class and I'm going to extend DB context txt db context so entity framework will automatically add it uh, in the uh, constructor uh, i'm just going to make sure db context operation and on the model creating make sure the db database will create automatically i just uh, copying the existing the default code so first one is just make sureing uh, application db context and on model creating it will uh, make sure mm, uh, database creation so now we have to create the model so that using the database db set we can add the uh, database table here so in the model folder we just uh, default error model uh, i'm just going to create category which is uh, our most of the tutorial project i just used one simple uh, model which is category so add new class uh, class name is category i'm just going to add just two field uh, three field id name and description uh, public class so uh, id name and description so id and name is required for uh, data anno annotation using so we have model ready. Uh, now I'm going to add this model into application DB context. So using uh, public uh, DB set category and name the category already suggesting so i'm just to uh, copy the actual name so that we cannot be confused so our application db context is ready now we can use application db context uh, into program.cs file for measuring the database connection so we have a connection string uh, now builder 
builder dot services uh, dot add db context add db context and I have to provide application db context here application db context uh, and Now I have to create Lambda expression options. Uh, options dot use SQL server. Use SQL server and have to provide the connection string. So we have ready uh, sql communication so we have a connection string and make sure the uh, connection string uh, by providing the application db context and our application db context is ready now if we uh, build and uh, add migration just for testing i'm just going to build the project if we don't have any uh, errors then i'm going to create the migration so migration, you can create migration uh, both way using the package manager console and uh, using the terminal. I'm going to create using the terminal. So uh, migration command is pretty simple. I'm just copying uh, from my notes. So .NET, let me show you what is the migration command. So for create migration .NET entity framework migration at init. So I'm going to copy this. And for update migration, you have to use the second command. Notice I will share all the commands and required things into the uh, comment section so that you can use without uh, facing, any facing any difficulties. So we have successfully created the migration and we have a ready migration folder. But um, what is the DB database name? Let me check. Uh, uh, crude operation uh, d8 if already exists then we have uh, we're going to get an error just let me check that for test purpose so if we just uh, we're going to get an error database already exists yes this already objects category so I'm just going to drop database, drop database from my local machine so that it will create a new fresh database and uh, we can perform all new DB operation. Execute. So database deleted successfully. And if we now going to update database, then it will create fresh database just one to be, which is a category. So category, if we just uh, go into database and here is the database, you, if we expand, I'm just not, go, not going to expand because I have a lot of database here and you will definitely get your database name crude operation D8. So database created successfully. Uh, now oh, I'm going to create the controller. So controller, if I'm going to give you the simple overview, what is controller? Uh, in the MBC uh, framework, um, uh, so a controller is the middleman. You can consider controller is a middleman. Controller request to the database. Please give me some data and also the by processing the data and controller return to the view. View also some uh, getting user input and uh, modifying something. Also pass the data to the controller and controller processing with the required validation and pass to the database. So free uh, communication here in the MBC project. So our database is ready. We can communicate with the database. And, and if I'm going to create a controller and I will create one uh, 10 rows for inserting uh, demo data so that we can easily get the uh, data operation for visualization purpose. Um, just closing everything. Our purpose now have to create the controller. So I'm going to create controller and my controller name is categories controller. Add new controller, MBC empty controller, 
categories controller add controller so we have just default simple controller now i'm going to add application db context so that using that instance we can perform db database operation smoothly private uh, read only application db context so, sorry yes this time is pretty finer so i'm just going to create a default parameter constructor c door uh, sorry c door c door double type you can get your uh, constructor name in visual studio and just remove and just passing context to the context so we have instance ready and we can now perform so in in dex we just nothing so as we are going to use a uh, jquery data table so we have to make sure uh, database uh, so before creating uh, the detail view i am just going to create seed data and get the uh, uh, check the if, if we are getting the full list so we need to create a, a seed static class so that using that class we can get uh, all the list uh, some dummy, dummy data uh, add new class uh, seed data public static I'm just make sure it's static so that we, we don't we don't have to headache about the instance i'm just copying from my local sorry guys uh, it will be faster so i'm just make sure uh, here is the uh, list category list i category i'm just uh, passing 12 rows into the category table now uh, we have to make sure the db operation using the for each uh, operation i will explain the code no worries so um, we uh, we just uh, uh, just uh, pulling the category and using for each but uh, this field are missing we have to make sure uh sorry i missed the common entity i'm just going to create the common entity now and uh, entity base in the model folder uh, my mouse is getting some issues uh, entity base dot cs and have some uh, in the database table uh, you know the created date modified date created by modified but cancel if you delete the soft delete you can uh, have a boolean operation true false so that you can perform the delete operation so this field was missing i have to extend the entity base class into the main class this is object oriented uh, concept i know i'm expecting you know this uh, object oriented concept op so we have a details about op in my blog uh, if you have any confusion you, you can check that check that so if i go into the seed data and now we don't have any issue so this is i just prepared the test data dummy data and here is uh, the db operation i just passed the method application instance uh, using the instant we, we are just adding uh, the data into the database uh, context dot table name and context dot save changes async so we have a seeded data if we create if we if we call this function if we call this function create uh, uh, category let me just rename and proper create category list okay into the view index i'm just going to um, call it so before calling it i we have to check if already have a data uh, then we are not going to create it 
So I am going to create a one common list. I get all categories so that using that list, we are going to get uh, all the category table private mm, async uh, task. It will be asynchronous call. That's why I call the async uh, list. I'm going to uh, pull entire table so category sorry category zero ry model so get all category try So we have to make sure I'm just copying just for faster operation. So category list is ready. Yeah, in the index we can easily check uh, if uh, uh, category dot count. Then if we we are going to call the create seed data create category list. Async does. So we have already controller. Now we can perform the database operation. In the view, we don't have any view for the category. Now I'm going to create a view, simple index, so that we can call it. Add new folder. I'm just creating manually. And from the index, I'm just copying here. Um, let me just copy the category category base uh, welcome to category now it is just static base and if we select the category table into database just for checking mm -hmm. Here is our database and uh, select star from category. CRUD crowd dot net eight. Yes, so just ID name and description. Uh, let me just run and debug so that you can check uh, the DB operation, what is happening here and how uh, the database is performing the operation. I'm just uh, debug enabling the debugging mode into the index. Oh, before enabling it, let me just add uh, into the tab so that we can just clicking and go to this space without but the browser help. Into the layout, I'm just going to uh, add. So just uh, let me add the menu, our categories controller, so that we can uh, redirect or go to the page with just mouse clicking. So just renaming, sorry. I have to copy the categories controller. Controller name is categories and go to index and the title will be categories. So our controller is ready and if we uh, debug and run the project, then uh, definitely we can have Initially, we don't have any data into, into the database, uh, let's say. Uh, just uh, dot eight, correct. So 
<clears throat> we don't have uh, data as I mentioned. So build is success. I'm going to run the project with debug mode. Uh, already I enabled the debugging here into the index. Uh, let's see what happened after the debugging. And initially it will check the list and hopefully get all the list from here. I'm just debug enabling the debug. Uh, the get all list debug method as well. So if I'm going to click the categories and I'm going to press the F10, F10, Uh, sorry, we uh, just uh, second time at the cancel created uh, uh, new column, the common column. So we have to create migration, create an update migration. I'm just uh, for uh, uh, avoiding the error purpose. I'm just deleting the, uh, deleting the enter migration folder and I'm just creating the fresh migration again. <clears throat> and drop database. Master and drop database success. So migration created successfully with the added new column field. If we're going to just update database, hopefully without any issue or error, we can able to uh, successfully uh, update the database using the migration. Yes, success. So I'm going to check the database now, select, and uh, I have to select uh, or let, or you can use the command, SQL command, use. So uh, now we have a newly added of uh, common column names, entity or fields, created date, modified date, created by modified by, and cancel for uh, delete operation, soft delete operation. Uh, let me just debug the project so that we can visualize the, the database operation, what is happening. So <clears throat> program is run. If we're going to click the categories, then uh, yes, it will redirect for the index. Uh, we, we we already enabled the debugging mode. I'm just going to press F10, and it will go to the get all category method. And using the DB context instance, we are pulling. Uh, uh, this time we don't get any errors. So currently in the database count is zero is zero, zero rows. So if it is count less than one, then it will going to create the category list. So category, welcome to category page. So just uh, uh, in the backend, in the database, we have a data right now. Uh, and if we going to select the database, so we have a list of data. So we just perform 70% uh, backend operation done, database connection done, data, uh, let me summarize, so create project operation done, install required packages done, connection string done, and create application dbk context and make sure the database context, database connection is string into program.cs and uh, create migration and upgrade migration done and create controller and create dummy data and debugging dummy data using uh, the controller. And we have a list of data right now. If we just refresh this base again, then we definitely have the listed data. Twelve rows, so it will not going to create the uh, C data again. So continue. So refresh this. So now our final task is uh, create a view so that we can perform. Uh, create update and delete operation for as already video is going to 30 minute over. So I'm going to uh, uh, copy and uh, make it faster so that uh, we can complete the full uh, full stack development, complete video, like full crude operation. 
So let me just complete uh, first the controller. Uh, we have just indexed uh, as we are going to create, as we are going to use um, uh, jQuery data table. So I'm just going to add first de details, add edit, and delete operation using uh, entity framework core DB context. Uh, let me just explain one by one. I, I just added. Oh, for uh, database validation, we have to add a JSON result view model. So in the, the model, um, add new folder, VM view model. Into the VM folder, we are going to add uh, the uh, database uh, front end return message JSON result view model. at new class json result view model so common field alert masses and i'm just going to copy uh, so this is a common field uh, alert masses and is success for a db operation into category we have a view model right now so let me explain for method first so details so in the Initially, I already uh, share a screen. So if I click this here, then we are going to call this method details and add edit. Uh, if it is add operation, then uh, it will uh, just return the empty uh, model. And but it is uh, uh, edit operation, then it will pick the that uh, rows from the database using the context and return the uh, one rows here. And same goes for the after. This is the uh, once we are going to click the add edit uh, action. And uh, once we are going to save button, then if it is uh, edit operation, then it will perform this action. And if it is add operation, then it will perform a simple uh, C-sharp code. We are just uh, uh, getting the model here. And we are passing the common value just to create a date, modify date. And for the create operation, we are passing the common value here. I created time and modify time and created by it. And after the a successful operation, we are passing the JSON result view model so that we can cast cast this uh, object from the front end. And delete operation pretty simple. Using the ID, we are getting the uh, ID from the database and passing the common field created by modified by modified by and delete operation cancel is true. Uh, that is means this data has been deleted boolean operation we are not uh, deleted uh, hard deleted we, uh, we 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 have performed soft operation soft delete operation and finally this is the common operation update and uh, context dot cb count save dot save changes asynchronous so i hope you know the basic how you can perform the entity framework core create a uh, update operation so here is the basic so and i already explained this method so just final one method I'm going to add for uh, jQuery data table, jQuery data table asserts uh, page ignition and other operation, and that is uh, get data. Get data table data. Uh, we using the common. Uh, I'll explain this. So get data table data will pulling data by uh, passing some front end uh, j uh, front end operation like uh, HTTP contest uh, request uh, from draw and sorting filtering. And basically, we just uh, get passing the list here, get all list, and uh, we have to add the dynamic link for this order operation. yes so passing the list here and here is the search operation functionality and finally it is written as a json uh, format into the view i'm going to explain the, the data table jquery data table front end so we have a prepared list this uh, method will return a list and into the front end javascript code we are going to get and process this data before processing data we uh, we have to make sure the uh, view uh we have completed the controller operation 
uh, full crude operation. Now I'm going to make sure the view category we already have an index. I'm just going to create uh, details and add edit. So for faster, I'm just going to copy the add, edit, and delete. Uh, yes. So index. So I will going to ex uh, uh, going to view ID name description created dead, and we have a database table name categories, and we have a CSS class blue green. Let me just uh, make sure the blue green uh, CSS class into the site dot CSS table so that without uh, any issue we can get the beautiful table as well i'm just going to copy this uh, default template mm, blue green so this is the, this is uh, for beautification the table and uh, here is we have a uh, reference jquery and the category is crude operation, category is data table. So we have to make sure these uh, two things into the JS folder by creating categories folder. Before make sure that we uh, we have to add the library. We are going to use jQuery data table first and second, we are going to use uh, suite alert. So into the view folder, uh, into the shared folder layout you have to add this reference here and also the library into the ww root folder a leaf and you have to add the library here so i'm just copying my library from my local uh, folder uh, jquery data table and uh, suite alert Uh, data tables and suite alert 2 also the font awesome for uh, the icons mm, best hopefully uh, so i have added font awesome uh, suite alert and data tables so we have to make sure the reference as well here So first I'm going to add the uh, font or some CSS into here. So reference added successfully. Now I'm going to add the second uh, uh, important thing, the data table. So this is the data table reference, data table CSS and data table .js. And final one is switch alert. So we have a reference ready for JavaScript front-end operation. I'm just going to close and now I'm going to make sure categories uh, control, categories uh, crude operation into the JS. Uh, add new folder categories. So we'll add categories crude and categories data table. So we have a category screwed operation before. Uh, so details, it will uh, call details method and load big model. So I have to add the modal operation. So I just create custom model. Let me just add the modal so that we can get the model into the view. I'm going to create a custom UI folder that is uh, UI components view add new folder ui components so in the ui components i'm going to add uh, 
CS temp, add a model. And new view, laser view empty, uh, shell view. So, so this is the board step model basically every time we are going to call this model that's why i'm going to make it a common uh, components so that we can reuse it so you have to add this partial view into the shared folder so that it can call uh, once this project once project has been loaded successfully so and here uh, partial name equals to name equals to i'm just going to copy the path views ui components speak model.cstml so a model ui is ready now i have to add the js code so that a model can call successfully so here i'm going to add the js code i will add two method here once for calling the model another is calling the uh switch alert hmm. So load big model is uh, loading the model. So we have a already model UI big model name. I'm just calling here and simple adult. This is the calling the uh, sweet alert method. So we are almost done. So now load big model is method is ready here. It is calling from here every time here as well. And edit operation, we are uh, passing the controller at edit. We already have uh, it into the controller and we are calling the model if uh, it is uh, edit operation edit categories and add categories so first it is called add edit and save operation we have a form and serialize the, all the user input and uh, buttons and finally uh, add edit we are saving into database and uh, this is uh, for switch alert and this is for reloading the uh, jquery data table and if you might you might ask a question what is uh, btn save so this is for uh, once you are going to click the button it will uh, disable and change the text and after successful operation is success we are passing this is success of uh, entity from controller here is the is success so in the ajax call once it is received it is uh, but the, once it is received then it is as uh, um, small r case is success not it's a capital uh, letters so success and delete operation same which we, we have just used uh to uh, switch alert and uh, this is the warning do you want to delete and uh, going to the delete uh controller and message and we are passing the uh, switch alert common method and this is for loading the uh, table without and without loading entire page so uh, our front end uh, controller is ready and just one important thing so we ha i have to explain which is in data table so here is our data table once a document dot ready this uh, code will be called so our table name is uh, data table and we you have to pass your table name here so your table name uh, from the index folder you have a table name so this table name you have to pass here and data table is loading the table name this is the parameter basic paging select order descending and the button we don't call any button and here is the ajax call we are getting data from the get data table data into the controller you have a method name get data table data this method is returning using post request using the list of data by filtering here is the filtering functions and filtering function and here is the common of uh, list of common column like id name description and created by modified by and here is the uh, ordering and here is the length of page how you are going to showing your page into the uh, designation so i hope uh, I, I i explain all the crude operation into the front end size and javascript how you are going to add your uh, javascript library into the into this project and how you can perform the complete crude operation 
So we have ready front-end uh, code now. I already explained. If you have any confusion, any question, please ask me into the comment section. I'm just going to uh, rebuild and run the project. Uh, so hopefully we can uh, perform a complete crude operation. Previously, we just ready controller and get the list of data uh, from the database. Here is the data. We just get this uh, uh, list, but uh, we can uh, now view the data, delete data, and add the data using the complete crude operation with the help of jQuery data table and uh, jQuery and some alert libraries which is uh, switch alert so here is the project uh, if we're going to click uh, the categories let me remove this debugging option I'm expecting there will be no errors. So finally, without any issue, uh, we have a complete list. So also the designation, if we're going to the next, designation is working fine. And if we're going to search, search is working fine as well. And for the few <coughs> details, uh, details is also working fine. Now I'm going to create a new uh, operation. Uh, item name operation using dot net 8.0 tbd safe so category created successfully id 30 so without base loading so already uh, row added into the data table so we can see these details and we can edit as well tbd E D I T edit and save so category updated successfully so update operation as well success and if we're going to delete this operation delete this row do you want to delete uh, you have option the cancel and if you yes then category deleted already gone without base loading so uh, this is uh, uh, this is because of uh, uh, jQuery data table is uh, um, it's a strong very uh, good library uh, for handling the grid data without the page loading so you can perform perform full crude operation without page loading so we have almost done before closing this video if we summarize what we have learned in this project how to create a project using uh, uh, .NET 8 MVC project. So we have created a complete project using .NET MVC. And we have in, we have make sure the database connection. We have make sure uh, connection is string. And we have make sure uh, our required packages, entity framework core. We have perform our database migration and update database. And we have, have uh, just uh, make sure some uh, issue during the uh, uh, <clears throat> database migration some field was missing then later we add the missing field and we uh, we create again the complete migration and after that we uh, create some uh, dummy data for testing purpose uh, using uh, one static uh, class uh, into the data folder you um, Sorry, into the controller. I, I, I we have a seed data class and we have created a, a dummy data. So after uh, dummy data creating, we into the controller. Uh, we just make sure creating the seed data. Then, uh, then get data table. So yeah, this is the post call um, for jQuery data table and details for uh, just displaying data. Here is the displaying data for details and if we go back to the controller again edit it for edited operation and delete for delete operation i already explained the uh, crude operation using javascript full code and i'm just closing the video so and i will after this uh, video uh, I'm just going to go 
going to create a repository into github and uh, upload entire project so you if you have any question and any feedback then definitely you can ask me into the comment section maybe it's a longer video so dotnet 8 sp.net mbc full stack development uh, hopefully you can learn using this video we have make sure the required packages and dotnet sdk i already share with you how you can check the dotnet install version you can use based on your uh, operating system i already install x64 and nogat packages and uh, we have a listed project so in this project um, i just use dotnet 6 so most of the project is dotnet 6 and if you want to try and uh, interested to like full uh, professional project then you can select one project from here and later on you can migrate to dotnet 8 so our purpose is so as dotnet you <coughs> release the latest sdk 8.0 we have to use the latest dotnet sdk and create a complete uh, full stack development crude operation using dotnet stack we have used entity framework code from uh, for the front end we have used jquery data table and the, for alert messaging we have used uh, suite alert so I'm just wrapping up. If you have uh, any question, feel free to uh, share in those comment section. Please subscribe and please share your valuable uh, comments. Thank you. Thank you uh, for watching the complete video. And if you have any uh, technical issue and if you face any problem during this running this project, always, uh, always feel free to knock me. Uh, see you in the next video. Thank you.